NASA's New Horizons, spacecraft sent back to Earth, an intriguing surface image of Pluto. Long-range reconnaissance A major lorry extends the highest resolution, views of Pluto to the very center, of the icy plane that is informally named, as Sputnik Planum, which forms the left side of the dwarf planet's heart feature. A lower elevation than most areas by several miles, Sputnik Planum is not completely flat at all. The icy plane's surface is separated, into polygons or cells 16 to 40 kilometers, 10 to 25 miles wide. The cells can be seen to have slightly raised centers and ridged margins, with approximately 100 yards, or 100 meters of overall height variation. The pattern of the cells, mission scientists believe, stems from the nitrogen-dominated ice's slow thermal convection. Pluto? Modest internal heat warms the solid nitrogen, a reservoir that scientists believe several, kilometers or miles deep in some places. The solid nitrogen then becomes buoyant, and rises in great blobs. It eventually cools off, and sinks again to repeat the cycle. Washington University's New Horizons Geology, Geophysics, and Imaging Team leader, William McKinnon, said the particular area of the dwarf planet is acting like a lava lamp, which is probably as wide as or even deeper than the Hudson Bay. New Horizons team's computer models reveal that the overturning solid nitrogen's blobs can slowly evolve and emerge over millions of years. The ridged margins mark where cooled nitrogen ice sinks back down. They can be pinched off and abandoned. Very likely, the X feature is one of these, formerly quadruple junction where four convection cells meet. A couple of active triple junctions can be seen in other areas in the Lori mosaic. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe.